Huh. Usually when I fall from the ceiling, somebody says, hey, Maurice. Where is everybody? Hello? I think everyone went on vacation and forgot me. I'm all alone. You know what that means. Maurice's Christmas special! We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. Precious family heirloom. Season's greetings. Welcome to Maurice's 13th annual Christmas Spectacular. This is the show that I film every year when everyone else goes on vacation. For this year's big opener, we have the Dewberry Tabernacle Boys Choir and the London Symphony as they sing Joy to the World. Hit it. Maurice, uh, we didn't get them. They're not here. Which one, the boys choir or the symphony? Both. Uh, they said they were busy and didn't know who you were. Busy? You know, they should be more generous with their time. They should do what my grandma Margaret always used to say. Do good things and share, even when it's hard to do. That's what I do. You know, I have an idea of something that uh, just Why might... don't we just skip ahead to one of Maurice's memories? You know, I spent a lot of time in the old air ducts and see everything that happens here at Connect HQ. This is the time I was a DJ at the Dance-a-thon. Remember it like it was yesterday. Who knew you had such great DJ skills, Maurice? I'm teching tools by day and checking fools by night. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Contestant, what's going on over there, Rodney? It appears a leg cramp is about to take out contestant 81. <laughs> Come on, Luke! Keep dancing! Keep dancing! Worship is all the time, no matter what happens. He's right. We should worship God all the time, even when things go wrong. <gasps> and Ooh, and contestant 81 is down for the count. We're down to our final two contestants. Any last words? God is good all the time. Even if a cramp takes you out of a dance-a-thon that was created on a whim. Wise words from a strong contestant. Go get some water, buddy. <laughs> and then Dot went on to win the dance-a-thon. So, Maurice's memories is just you sitting there retelling us things you remember? Yep. Fascinating television. You know, if Luke could worship God when things didn't work his way, surely I can get this show back on track without a big opener. Up next, I've hired some Christmas reindeer to come we in We didn't and... get the reindeer. Really? Really. There are a lot of things on this list you'll have to sacrifice. What do you mean? Well, a sacrifice is giving up something you love for something you love even more. I know what a sacrifice is. Grandma Margaret taught me. Is there anything on my list we were able to get? We got this. One candy cane. Great. This is so sad. Like the time they closed Mike's favorite sub shop. It was a sad day as well. Stand by for another memory. Mike? Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. I, I was just thinking about my Bub Subs Club card. Your what? My Bub Subs Club card. Every time you buy a sub, you get a punch on your club card. When you get 20, your next sub's free. 
I was two punches away. So you didn't hear anything I just said? I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'll listen this time. What's up? It's about my dad. We got into this heat. Mike! Were you still not listening to me? Oh, I'm sorry. I just can't stop thinking about Bub's sub. Oh, brother. <laughs> Mike, are you feeling any better? A little? <laughs> well, maybe we can find you another sub shop. No other sub shop is gonna make my signature sub the mic. Well, why don't you just make it yourself? That's a great idea. Mm, that's a really good candy cane. I remember Ray and Harper were there for Mike when he needed someone to cheer him up. Spreading cheer is something that my next guests are used to. These Christmas gymnasts have come all the way nope. from... No Christmas gymnasts, huh? I thought they'd be there for me. We're here for you. What do you want to do? Let's play a Bible story about people who were there for each other. The one about the early church. They didn't hold back from doing good for each other. We'll get it loaded up for you. Thanks, guys. Cue Bible link and play in three, two, one. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive. See the wonderful story. Through history and poetry How much Jesus loves me God's great story lives There's no other book like this This book is alive The church is the building we go to When we want to learn about God Nope, this is a church Those are people Yep, in fact, it's you and me You kinda lost me The church isn't a building the church is the people who have made Jesus the leader of their lives. And that's us. We don't go to church. We are the church. And we exist for the world. Oh, okay. I still don't get it. Let's look in the book of Acts. That's where the Bible talks about the very first church. The people who first believed in Jesus. They didn't have buildings to meet in, so they met where they could. Usually in people's homes. So their church was a house? Nope, the church met in houses. Even then, the church was the people. And the apostles taught them many things about God. They did great and wonderful things with God's power. God did amazing things through everyone in the church. Through all the people? How? The people of early church put others first. They prayed together, they shared meals, they shared their time, they shared everything. Everything? Really? Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. The Bible tells us that when one of them needed something, others shared what they had. They even sold things and used the money to help out. That's amazing. That's putting others first. The early church was really good at it. For instance, this one guy, Joseph, sold a field and brought the money to the people of the church to help those who needed it. Awesome. What made them do that? They all agreed. They all wanted to live like Jesus, and the apostles told them how Jesus put others first when he died on the cross and went up to heaven. The early church learned about Jesus and lived like him, so they put others first. I think I get it. Great, but you haven't heard the best part. When others saw how those first church people lived, it made them want to follow Jesus too. In fact, more people decided to follow Jesus every single day. Wow. God did do amazing things through the first church people. And God still does amazing things through his people when they live like Jesus and put others first. Right, because we are the church. And we exist for the world. The early church shared everything and made sure everyone else had what they needed. They cared for everyone in need, unlike some Christmas gymnasts I know. Maurice, we've got to go to a commercial break 
We'll be right back with Maurice's 13th annual Christmas special. How often does this happen to you? If you find yourself plummeting from perches, try Pete's Plunge Pillow Pads. They provide protection so you can pick up production and perform peacefully. Pete's, the perfect problem solver for your less than pleasant predicaments. I'm okay! Welcome back! <laughs> what a tangle I find myself in. Thank goodness that my very special guest star can... Wait, we didn't happen to get the guy who plays Luke Skywalker, did we? He said no. Great, I'll have to untangle myself then. We could help. While we're doing that, let me tell you about another memory I have of someone sacrificing something. Um, big problem. What happened now? No problem, that's the problem. I don't follow? It was too easy to give those toys and apples to the shelter because I wasn't doing anything with them. But Dot, you gave to someone who needed something. That's not a big problem. But Ray said, when I have faith in Jesus, I can give generously. I gave, but I could give more. Like it says in the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 16. Want me to say that with you? Yes. Hebrews 13, 16. Hebrews 13, 16. And don't forget to do good and to share with those in need. And don't forget to do good and to share with those in need. These are the sacrifices that please God. These are the sacrifices that please God. I want the kind of faith that really sacrifices something. That's not a bad thing to want. But what else do I have to give? Well, sometimes it's not about giving things. It's about giving time or attention. Bingo! You can go back to what you were doing. Glad I could help. I remember Dot had a great verse from the book of Hebrews. It went like this. Hebrews 13, 16. And don't forget to do good and to share with those in need. These are the sacrifices that please God. Everyone has needs or troubles. Sometimes it's being trapped in a strand of Christmas lights. Or other people, they're just sad or lonely or sick, or they just need prayer. We need to look for those people and help them out no matter what. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, that's really hot. That's really hot. I think I blew my time pretty bad. Ooh. Should we stop filming? No, no, I, I'll be okay, I'll be okay. Let's just go to another memory. How about the one where Dot got bullied? Dot got bullied? Dot got bullied. You heard him. Roll the memory. Okay. <laughs> well, he's not in the cabinet. We should call Luke. We've got a bully on the loose and connect HQ. I wonder where he went. <sighs> Probably wandering the halls, making fun of the guys downstairs. Let's keep looking. Mike, I think I lost our walk-in. Who, Spencer? Nah, he left a while ago. Um, there's something I need to tell you. It's okay, he'll listen. I tried with Spencer, I really did. But he said some pretty hurtful things. It made me feel really bad. He made fun of her height. What? It's not your fault that you're short. You have nothing to do with that. I know, right? Listen, Dot, I'm so sorry that I didn't listen to you before. <sighs> Loving everyone doesn't mean ignoring bullying. And he said some bad things to me, too. And I tried to pray with him, but he just left. Mike, why are kids so mean? I don't know. Maybe... They're bullied at home, or maybe they 
are just, that's the way they think they're gonna get attention, or maybe they just like being mean, or maybe they don't know what it's like to have good friends like you, Dot, or you, Harper. Harper reminded me that when someone's being mean to us, that's a chance for us to be kind to them. That's good advice. That's love in action, no matter what. No matter what. Will you help me make a connection transmission for the archives? I would love to. Oh, that water helped. Maurice, uh, we should start wrapping up. You know, when I started this Christmas special, I thought there would be a lot more variety. But it's basically just been me describing memories from the past year. But they were great memories about why we give. Memories about times when people were sad and lonely, sick or in prayer. And I just wanted to thank the crew for sacrificing your time in helping me to make this special. Maurice, it's our pleasure. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas. Hi, my name is Maurice, and I don't get to do this very often. I hope I get it right. Let's start with what the Bible says in the book of Hebrews. Say it with me like this. Hebrews 13, 16. And don't forget to do good and to share with those in need. These are the sacrifices that please God. God loves it when you do something for your neighbor or when you share something that they need, even when it's hard. The early church didn't hold back from doing good for each other or sharing with each other. No one went without because they all shared everything and sold what was theirs to make sure everyone else had what they needed. The early church cared for each other so well, other people could tell they loved Jesus and followed him. This year at Connect HQ, we've seen all kinds of examples of doing good and sharing with those in need. We are a family of believers and we know what it means to give up something we love for something we love even more. Every day, we help those in need by sharing our time, our money, and our talent. If you know what someone needs and you have what they need, share it with them. Or if you see somebody who's lonely, share your time with them. God loves it when we are generous with the gifts he has blessed us with. Do good things and share, even when it's hard to do. Thanks for joining me. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. I just got back from the Bahamas. I wonder what this is. Maurice's 13th annual Christmas special on VHS. Does, it, does anybody have a VCR? Doing good things for other people is something that we will always do here at Connect HQ. We sacrifice things because we believe God loves it when we give. And if you want to learn more about being generous, just look at what Jesus gave to us. If you've never made that decision to learn more and follow Jesus with your life, you can make that decision today. All you have to remember are your ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is the leader of your life and your number one friend. And if you wanna make that decision today, be sure to talk about it with your Connect small group leader before you leave.